it's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Mark from the States. How are we doing today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. Come sit with me on this big fake couch. Uh, excited to announce that we get to uh, watch a new channel today called CJ Explorers. Of course, the link to this video and their channel will be in the description. So please do what you guys do and go visit their channel, like, subscribe, support them. It's so important that you support the original content creator. Go watch. In fact, I encourage you to go watch this video on their channel first, then come back and watch it with me. And that way you can help me get some context of some of the things that will obviously probably go over my head or I would just won't understand. Um, they are uh, gracious enough to allow me to watch this video. Um, and uh, so I'm just very happy to and excited to be able to get to share this with all of you. Um, so CJ Explorers, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, both of you. Thank you. And, and looking very excited, uh, looking uh, forward to being able to watch this. So come sit with me, right? Uh, before we start, uh, a little update on the interview that I did with uh, Magic Geekdom. Uh, it's been completed, but I, <laughs> I, I think maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Uh, I'm having issues with the sound, and it's I can't put it out because yeah, you, you have a hard time hearing Jeremy in a lot of cases, and uh, I just. It wouldn't be uh, right to put it out. So I've uh, sent it to someone, someone being Kara. She's going to take a look at it and uh, see if she can fix the audio on uh, on the video. And if she can, then yes, I will put it out as soon as it's done. If she can't, we've kind of are tentatively rescheduling our interview. Uh, for probably in April sometime. So uh, I am so bummed that I'm not able to show it to you right away, but please understand and hopefully uh, please be patient. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's something I did, um, but uh, such as uh, learning new technology for me, I'm not the most gifted at that sort of thing, as you know. <laughs> so sorry about that but uh gosh i loved the interview i i just love talking to him so hopefully she's able to uh fix it and uh because it was really cool there was some really cool tidbits in that but if for whatever reason we have to redo it uh we'll try to uh, kind of copy what we did on sunday and uh I'll be asking the same questions. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll be a little more polished, too, if we were to do it. But anyway, we'll see. I'll keep you updated. So uh, thank you for your patience on that. But first, let's get into this video. This is, you don't even know what we're looking at today, are you? Or do you? Uh, we're uh, going to be uh, joining CJ Explorers as a tour, the historical city of York. I think in, in an earlier video I've done, I saw the Christmas market of York, and I believe that's my only real kind of experience with the city itself. So I'm excited. So come sit with me. And let's get into the, could it be England's most historical city? I know there's a lot of Roman heritage there. And so, yeah, let's do it. to CJ Explores. Today we're exploring the beautiful city of York and we're starting off at its city wall. Wow, look at that. That was the cathedral. Oh, I gotta go back. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be pausing a lot because just these shots are uh, just really cool. God, that's nifty. And that's cool, look at that. Just outside of the city walls, so that means when we want to 
come into the city, you have to enter Mickle through Gate Micklegate Bar. Bar. Oh, this is gotta, the gotta read that. Gotta read that. Micklegate Bar is the most important of York's gateway uh, gateways and has acted as the focus focus for various important events such as greeting a monarch on a royal visit and to display the what severed heads of traitors. Oh my God. The earliest surviving piece of the present gateway was built in the early 12th century. Amazing. Uh, but there has been a gateway here about since the Roman period. Roman stonework and even Roman coffins were reused oh my, by the medieval builders in its construction. In 1350, the gatehouse was heightened to include a porticolis and a barbican. An outer passageway defending the main gate was also added at this time. There were living pe the people living uh, over the bar as early as... Uh, I don't see the time, but... Uh, Something, something, 1918. But, so, it was the earliest surviving piece of the present gateway was built in the 12th century. So not by the Romans, but there has been a gateway here about since the Roman period. They used the existing Roman stonework and the Roman and coffins. Crazy in the construction, that's wild. 1350, wow. The main entrance of the wall on the south side is very That's impressive, so cool. very cool, and we're going to go down and explore the wall. I mean, it almost looks fake. What do you mean, like you're walking into Disneyland or something? It's so bizarre. York has so much history, and I think that's why I really wanted to come here. It looks like a really fascinating city. This wall, for example, it goes around the entire city, and you can walk along it. It's free to enter. It opens at 8 a.m., and it closes just as it gets dark. So obviously, it's open a lot later in summer. It's about 3.4 kilometers long, so it's a nice little walk that you can do. We entered in the south entrance, and we came up on the left-hand side, and we're just going straight across, right into the city, and we can see the cathedral in front of us. So York City Wall was originally built by the Romans, and it was later improved by the Vikings. What we've learned after doing a little bit of research, there is a huge Viking history here. And in 1979, they were digging up an ancient site in the city centre and they found this huge Viking settlement. It was so well preserved, so they have rebuilt it as a museum and we're hoping to explore that today. I wonder how many people have wow. walked on this wall. I think cool. I read that it was made by the Romans in around AD 76-ish. Um, so you just can imagine how much history it's seen over the years. Unbelievable. It's very cool. But it's Something seen a lot of gruesome old. stuff too. On the Micklegate Bar, it said that up until this 18th century, it used to have severed heads of traitors <laughs> and enemies on its spikes. How gross. Yes. So located around the city walls, you will find these information boards and on them, there's a QR code. If you scan that, it'll give you a guide and a little bit of history about the walls. Oh, nice. I've just learned that the Roman walls were actually the earth walls that they built underneath. And on top of those are the later rebuilt English walls. Okay. That is Barker Tower. It used to be the old watchtower here on the river, and they've now turned it into a cafe. It's very charming, especially today in the sunshine. It's got some music playing. Barker Tower. It looks like such a lovely little spot on the river. She seems yeah, a it's cafe. Very, very pretty here. We are gifted with um, some beautiful sunshine right now, but it's going to be changing throughout the day. We have sunshine and clouds. Um, so we are at Fisher Gate Bar, and we are going to walk uh, north, I think, around the top of the city. This part of the wall is just people's backyards. How cool is that, that you just get to look at this historical monument from your kitchen sink? So, I'm gonna go back there. There, yeah, there's people's homes right there. That's wild. So it literally goes around the whole city, or what was the original city. Uh, and so you could just sit and walk around the whole city on this wall. That is awesome. What a cool, like, thing to do. I don't know. I think it's cool. That's so wild. Did they mention one of the, 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 the gates was a cafe that they converted into a cafe? That's awesome. Wow. So the Romans, if I get this straight, just so I'm on the same page here, the Romans 
built a, a wall out of earth and stonework or whatever. Uh, and then in the medieval times, uh, this current uh, iteration of the wall is what we have left or what you have left. <laughs> um, pardon the heater. Um, that uh, is what we see today. But 13th century, 12th century, I'm sorry, 12th century, thir around 1350s or something like that. Wow. Amazing. You just get to look at this historical monument from your kitchen sink. That would be wild. At first. I don't know if I'd we want to see, see there are the some people, people down there excavating <laughs> a little <laughs> site. Um, the York Archaeological Trust have some signage out. It looks like they are still exploring what there is to find in this area, which is so cool. Hopefully, we hear some new developments. When you think about we it, we have just stumbled they, across they can dig gatehouse for years. coffee. It is in a gatehouse, stuff. and it's this really, really old stone building. You can have coffee gatehouse on coffee. the that is back so of the gatehouse. Awesome. You can go upstairs one level, or you can even go on the roof. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so you can go on upstairs one level, or you can even go. gotta be kidding me this is so cool I'm already wanting to go here so bad this is just from the I don't know been into this video for three minutes or something it's just what I've seen so far is just incredible that's so cool look at that on the roof. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, so this old you. watchtower is now a cafe, but before wow. um, this, I think up until around 1950s, uh, it used to just be a house that you could rent all the way up until the, well, back to the 14th century. It used to be about out, 10 shillings to rent. A house that you can rent? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm I'm happy that it's a coffee place now, but that is wouldn't that would have been wild to be able to rent this place and stay there. Oh my gosh! It went up over time, but yeah, this place people used to live here, but now it's been a cafe since 2007. This guy's had it. How unique! And 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 the coffee comes from a company that we used to live right next door to in Brisbane, All Press Espresso. So cheers, guys. Awesome. Cool experience, isn't it? Yeah, very cool. Very unique cafe to visit here in York. Definitely recommend it. If I ever get there, I definitely want to go there for sure. Turn to ground level before going back up. Okay. We are going to go across the bridge though and find somewhere for breakfast. I keep stopping to take in the beauty of all yeah. these buildings. There's so much um, brickwork. I guess this is more from the Victorian era, um, but the buildings are just so beautiful. There's so many wow. big lush green trees around as well. It's just a really pretty city we're finding. I really like it. Roast companies behind me, and they do these huge Yorkshire puddings with like the roasting inside of it. It looks absolutely delicious, but their actual uh, Yorkshire pudding isn't vegan, otherwise, I would absolutely have smashed one today. I was really hoping they'd do a vegan version, do a vegetarian version, but not vegan. <laughs> Draw the line of vegan. Shemble Street is a very famous street here in York. Um, it's very interesting looking, it kind of the buildings overhang. We definitely want to go see that. This is Shambles Market, and I know Shambles Street is in this area. Is it the same place? Let's go find out. Nine to five. So we are in the right place. The Shambles, the famous Shambles Street, is just a little bit over. Right now, they're having this big market here. I think before we go and explore the street, though, we are going to go and grab some food because my belly is rumbling. Double Dutch. We have come to a double Dutch pancake house now because we saw on the window there was a big 
vegan sign. And it seems to be a lot of vegan options in this street. There's one across the road. And there's also one down the road called Orinoco, which was on our hit list, but it's closed today. So we have ordered a coffee and we have some pancakes coming. Um, let's see how good they taste. <gasps> Is it this the cutest pancake you've ever seen? I have a strawberry mouse. <laughs> I'm absolutely oh. smashing through my pancake. It is so good. It's really thin, really crispy, and all the vegan alternatives, like the yogurt, the chocolate, uh, the chocolate buttons, and the mouse's ears, is also tasty. So they've done a very good job here. Well done. Okay, that was absolutely delicious pancakes, but now we're gonna go and have a little walk through Shamble Street. It's very famous. It was actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book. It's where the butchers of York used to be. So it's all these hanging houses, and they used to have these hooks, and the dead meat used to be there where they were drying out. It would have been disgusting. Um, but it's actually also famous because it is apparently the reference for JK Rowling for where she got the inspiration for Diagon Alley in Harry oh, Potter. Right. And there's lots of Harry Potter little shops and souvenirs there. It looks very interesting to try, like a fairy tale street, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll that's Let's, right. show you. Let's have a look. Before they go, yeah, this is uh, when we did, I think it was uh, the Christmas uh, market video with, I, I think, Tim. Walk with me, Tim. And he, now it's coming back to me. Um, it does look pretty awesome, I must say. But it looks fake, right? It looks like it, you would go to Disneyland and that's what, you know, they've recreated something like that. It looks, uh, but no, it's real. <laughs> it's real. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Getting all giggly here. So yeah, it's very, very busy down this narrow little street. Um, but it feels very old here. It's like very cobblestone-y. All the buildings are just like hanging really low. And um, cute little shops to go and explore. Lots of little alleyways. It's very, yeah, very it's, cute. it's very cute. I've tripped over twice though already. <laughs> All these cobbledy streets. Uh, but very interesting little stores. It's only a very short street, isn't it? Yeah. But it does look like a movie set. And there is a market does look very like close by. Set. Shop that must not be named. So yeah, Tim walked into this one as well. There's a cushion in the corner here. Horns on the other side. So feel free to miss Beanie Sal. It's a medieval guild hall and you can go there for tea or some scones and it looks so cute. It's like a proper little English countryside area within the city. It's beautiful. But next we're going Pretty. to make use of our English Heritage membership and go and check out Clifford's Tower. I love weeping willows, they're so pretty. You wouldn't think we're in the middle of the city right now, would you? No, it's very peaceful, the birds yeah. singing. Gorgeous little cup for you found here. It gives you that countryside view. What is so that? We're at Clifford's Tower, we're going to enter for free because if you saw a few vlogs back, we got our English Heritage Passes in Cornwall. Uh, so this is part of the membership site. So we're going to check it out. I actually don't really have any clue about what Clifford's Tower is. So I'm going to go and learn. Wait, did, have I done a York Castle video? I don't remember. Oh gosh, there's been so many. Um, hmm. Well, if I did, I don't remember it, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, this is definitely somewhere I'd want to go. Clifford's Tower. So the, the really QR cool goes. thing about Clifford's Tower is inside they have these walkways which go up some stairs. Wow. Um, all around the inside you can go to the King's Toilet. This is where King's Pooped. <coughs> or to the King's Chapel. Um, and then up some spiral staircases to the top where there's a huge platform for you to get a really good view of York and all the buildings around. I, I giggle. I giggle because here we are, you know, uh, just imagine way back when in 1350 or wherever and whenever, and uh, where you go and do your business. Um, if you could ever just possibly imagine that where you uh, go to the bathroom is gonna be a popular tourist uh, spot <laughs> in the future.
this. Yes, kings actually pooped as well. Um, yeah, it, it, this looks amazing. Those walk, those catwalks, those you know the walkways up, suspended, amazing. Absolutely, just remarkable. Is it? Uh, sounds like it might be worth getting like a British Heritage. How many of you have the actual uh, British Heritage? Uh, card member. If you enjoy going to these places, it sounds like it's well worth it. Okay, so this is such a good spot to come up if you want to get a good view of the city. Dang. It's actually one of the tallest vantage points from the city, apart from the spire of a church and maybe um, York Minster. But from up here, you can see pretty much everything. You've got views down to the river, over all the brick buildings, and they've done a really good job at preserving the structure, but also making it more of an experience for people to come and visit with this huge platform on the top, and then an opening in the top where you can look down or look up at the sky from underneath. I think it's really cool. Interesting to note, though, that the mound that this is built on is actually man-made. So the, I think the Romans built uh, the earth mound. Then on top was originally a timber structure, uh, and that's since been replaced by the stone structure that stands today. And now it has timber back on top with this yeah. huge platform, which can accommodate a lot of people to come and visit. It's a wee bit windy up here. Yeah. We have about an hour and 20 minutes because we have booked in a tour at the Jorvik Viking Centre. So we're gonna go there soon, but we just think we might squeeze in a little visit to York Minster as we wait. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, Thank yes, you. sounds great. Go. Wow, that's stunning. You have stunning. to pay to go in the Minster. Usually cathedrals are free. Yeah. Um, churches and cathedrals. We asked if the English heritage, they said no. Um, <laughs> so I think we're going to skip it because we're paying a lot lately on all these places to go around England. But um, it's just as beautiful on the outside. Up. I think we can still marvel sure. at how amazing this building is. And yeah, we're just going to have a little wander around town waiting for our Norway Viking experience soon. How exciting. I had no idea that the city had this history, but Guy Fawkes was born here. Oh. Yeah, 1570. Oh. On that list. Deceased in 1606. <laughs> yeah, in the building. This is very cool. We are in a pub. Corey's ordered some gin and tonic. Freshman, where Guy Fawkes was born. That's pretty cool. So we have just arrived outside the Jorvik. Uh, before they get into their uh, the Viking center, Guy Fox, right? I mean, he tried to blow up Parliament. Yes, he's become this like folk hero, this legend, um, which is awesome, you know. And to be able, to, I, I had no idea he was born in York. I didn't know that. And then if there's a pub that maybe he visited. I'm all for it, right? Absolutely, but it's just cool. This is, this has been so good. <laughs> Viking Centre, and what we know about this so far is that it was a excavation that was occurring in the city centre. English heritage discount again. <laughs> okay, now wait. Oh, that's cool. It's definitely worth getting the heritage membership. Oh my goodness. You're literally walking over it. Wow! We are going to take you back in time to your Viking Age York. I had no idea we were going to do this. We are on a ride. It's like a what? theme park ride, but it's full of information. I don't know where it's taking me. <laughs> wow. I lost you. 
So we have just come out of Jorvik and it was a really cool experience actually. There was a ride that we went on and we got to go through like an old uh, Viking settlement. It was uh, Jorvik recreated um, and we were kind of like on this track above us and we floated through the Viking village. Um, loads of information about the Viking history and how life was in those times. You could actually smell um, the scenes that you were in. So there was one Whoa. part where you went past the latrine and it smelled a bit like yeah. And moss. And moss and toilet. And you could smell all the natural smells. I'm not sure how they did that, but it was really, really well done. Um, we learned a lot and... Interesting. Yeah, it was yeah. very, very interesting to learn about the, the Viking history of York. We have just been enjoying walking around York, but we are going to take a quick break now, find somewhere to have a drink and chill yes. out for a little while while we wait for dinner. Here we go. Market Cat. Ooh, love the name. Three-story venue. We found a pub. We have found ourselves a Jaipur India Pale Ale. Uh, and this is by Thornbridge Brewing Company, I believe. Um, it's a little collaboration right next to the Shambles Market, and they have a beautiful uh, interior space. It's very old school downstairs and very modern upstairs. It's a good beer. One of my favorite parts about exploring these old cities is just all these little alleyways. It's so, um, I don't know, it's exciting. It feels like you're really exploring somewhere new when you find all these like secret little passageways through the city and uh, you pop out <laughs> and somewhere completely new. Where are we now? <laughs> okay, dinner time guys. We're gonna go to Donna Summer. It's inspired by Berlin street food. Sounds great. Let's go eat. Berlin inspired vegan junk food. Okay. I'm not a vegan myself. I don't have a problem with people who are vegan, uh, but uh, everything's vegan, so I'm very excited. This is very exciting. Um, we'll start off with a gin and tonic, and I've got a hot honey combo box. Very exciting. Food time. Look at that. We have fake fried chicken. I have my <laughs> chips and a slaw on top. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm being serious. This is so frustrating because now we have to come back to York to get this again. It's so good. Mm -hmm. This is the best fried vegan chicken that I've ever had. Yeah. I would try it. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I can convert. Absolutely delicious. That vegan, honey, garlicky yumminess that Corey had, that fried butternut chicken, that was like, yeah, the best vegan chicken. That was insane. So good. Good work, York. Very good. Well, that was some serious vegan junk food in there, wasn't it? Yummy food. So tasty. <laughs> Well, we have had an amazing time at York. Absolutely loved it. Thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next adventure when we head to awesome. Scotland. Yeah, very excited. So please subscribe Scotland. to CJ Explores and we'll see you in the next one. Woo. Bye. So please, yes, please go support uh, their channel. Uh, again, link will be in the description below to their channel and to this video. This was way cool. They did a great job. I really enjoyed that. I mean, they showed us quite a bit in this video. And they certainly did the video or did the city of York um, good here because I want to go. They showed me a lot of cool things that I'd love to do. Um, the Viking Museum exhibit experience, whatever they're calling it, that looks uh, pretty amazing. The cathedral, of course, uh, York Minster. Uh, gorgeous looking. It's a bummer they couldn't get in, but I'm sure it looks absolutely amazing inside. Uh, just the city wall that goes around. Uh, just I, I knew they had one, but it was like I didn't really understand that it actually does go all the way around. What the original city, uh, that coffee house 
coffee shop, whatever we're calling it, uh, that's right there. That what an experience that is. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some cool pubs down there in Shambles uh, Alley. Um, yeah, this this place. I'm going to have to put on the list of somewhere. It looks fun. You know, that's the feeling I was getting now. Granted, um, <clears throat> CJ Explorers, they um, they made it seem really fun. They're very, uh, you know, excited and they're fun to watch and you could just feel uh, their energy come through the screen. So it made the journey with them fun to tag along. Um, I probably won't eat the vegan, but more power to them. Um, I mean, I would try it. I'm not opposed to eating it, but I mean, if I'm going to eat something that's fried chicken, I want to eat fried chicken. But then again, that's why they're in good shape and I am not. So, <laughs> uh, so thank you to CJ Explorer and uh, for allowing, allowing me to be able to uh, tag along on this journey through this incredible historical city. It's just really cool. I definitely want to get there. I um, hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Again, please go support CJ Explorers and their channel. Um, please be patient on the interview with Magic Geekdom. Uh, hopefully we can get it uh, to where it, it can be presentable. If not, we're going to have to redo it next month. And um, But all in all, you know, had a great time with uh, Magic, uh, Magic Geekdom uh, on Sunday. They're just awesome people, so, um, and totally understand. So hopefully she can work her magic. There's some surprising tidbits in, in the interview, so um, you'll want to stick around and hopefully <laughs> hopefully be able to see it. But you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. All right, bye. Mark from the States, Mark from the States, it's Mark.